Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make these really handy and helpful Mask Mates by Regina Pastrano. Uh, the idea is that instead of the elastic going around your ears, there's a little strap on the back with a button on each side and the elastic can go around the buttons. Um, there will be a link to the pattern in the description below and you'll also find a link to Regina's Ravelry, her website, and her Facebook group. She's got some really great patterns. Um, I suggest you check them out. So let's get started. So you start off with a slip stitch. And then we're going to chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the next thing you're going to do is half double crochets into the second chain from the hook. So that would be the first chain. This is the second chain. And to half double crochet, you yarn over, insert hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. Sometimes it's easier if you pull through them one at a time. Okay, so there's the first one. We're gonna half double crochet right back into that same stitch. So yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. And one more time, yarn over, insert hook into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And we want to mark that very first stitch there. You can either use a stitch marker or I use just a little piece of scrap yarn. And remember we've done three, so it's one, two, three. That would be the very first stitch of this round. And I'm going to just mark that with some scrap yarn. Okay, next we're going to half double crochet into the next seven stitches. So yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. There's one, two, four, five, six, and seven. The next thing we're going to do is just like on the first side, we're going to half double crochet three times into that same stitch. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. And just like we did on the first side, we're going to want to mark that first of three. So one, two, three.
that just keeps track of the first stitch that was in that three half double crochets into the same stitch. And as you can see what that does is that gives it a nice rounded edge. So continuing on we're going to half double crochet into the next seven stitches. One, two, three, that one's a bit funny so I'm going to take that out. So that was two and three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so this kind of looks like it should be a stitch, but you'll see it's actually, that's the stitch that the three half double crochets were done into. So to finish this round, we go back to our very first stitch in the round and we're going to just slip stitch. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and pull through that hook that was on the loop as well. Okay, now I'm going to take this marking yarn out and we're going to do two single crochets into the next three stitches. For, so first we do a chain one and then single crochet into that first stitch. Single crochet right back into that same stitch. Next one, single crochet and single crochet right back into that same stitch. Now I'm going to go back and mark the beginning of this stitch. So we've done four. One, two, three, four. So two into this next stitch, and single crochet is insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. If you are not very familiar with the single cro crochet stitch, I've done a video showing in very slow motion how to do that. The link is here. All right, so now we single crochet into the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, Six, and seven. So you'll see we're now back to the stitch that we marked 
and we're going to do the same thing as on the first end. We're going to do two single crochet into the next three stitches. One, and right back into that same stitch. Two, Next stitch, one, and two, and third stitch, one, and right back into that same stitch, two. Okay, now we're going to do seven single crochet one into each stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Now here you'll, here you'll see there's kind of a tricky stitch there. That's not actually a stitch that you want to crochet into. So we're going to slip stitch into the very first stitch of the round. can pull my marking yarn out and then to tie a knot I like to yarn over pull through cut the yarn leave enough for a little tail to weave in and then I like to go back to that loop that was made with the tail yarn insert my hook through that yarn over the tail pull through pull that tight that gives a nice secure yarn and then weave in your ends and the very last thing is to sew a button on each end uh, I don't have any buttons and with the quarantine can't run out and get any <laughs> but um, yeah you, so you just sew a button onto each end approximately one inch buttons and then the masks hook over the buttons instead of hooking over your ears. And there you have it. I hope that was easy to follow. If you have any questions, you can ask them below. You can also join Regina's Facebook group and she can help with any questions that you might have there. Please do remember to check out her links. She's got some really great patterns on there. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.